This is Walking Waters part two. Um, it's about three hours and 15 minutes after I started the experiment. And here are the results. So if you remember, if you remember over here, I had, um, I dipped the paper towel ring, just the paper towel that I've rolled up into a tube, into the yellow. The middle glass had nothing in it. So I just also put the other end of the tube of um, white uh, paper towel in the empty glass. And then over here, I dipped one end of the tube in the red food coloring and water, that solution. And I, I dipped, put the other end of the tube, uh, the white uh, paper towel tube in an empty glass. And look what has happened. Again, this is a little over three hours. Um, this happened actually much earlier, probably after by an hour, this is what it looked like. Um, but I wanted to let it go a little bit longer. So you can see that the water has moved through the paper towel by itself and into the glass. And it's actually even starting to fill up the glass a little bit in the middle. Um, all right. So why did this happen? So as the solvent, in our case, water, moves up the paper towel, and we talked about solvents and solutes, the solvent is the water, the solute is what we put into the water, moves up the paper towel, it makes a mixture with it. Different components of the mixture will move at different rates depending on their affinity to, to the solvent. Are they hydrophobic? In other words, water hating, afraid of water, they're not mixing, or are they hydrophilic, water loving? Changing the solvent using something else like spirits, methylated spirits, which that would be, have to be done with a grown up, gives significantly different results due to the chemical properties of the dyes. Try this with the permanent ink markers instead. Okay, with permanent ink markers instead, you can try this experiment. So what you notice is that the water did walk. That's why it's called walking waters. The water actually moved through the paper towel into the empty glass and it moved along the paper towel. So here are some variables that you can test. You can try the same experiment with, um, does it make a difference with hot water versus cold water? Um, you can test it and see if it travels faster or if it travels at all. Try different food colors. What is the result? Is the result the same if you use different colors? Try tissue paper versus paper towels or printing paper, right? So what we noticed with walking waters is we had success. Um, the water walked through the paper towel and into the empty glass. All right, so again, take a look. I'll also put the slides for this experiment in the course today so you can follow along and of course do it as well. And again, feel free to try some of the different variables, the different tests to see if there are any differences. Uh, you'll also have a quick um, puzzle piece to complete today based on this experiment. Basically, if you watched it, if you paid attention, you'll do just fine.